right, so thank you so much for taking on my ELD class for Friday, June 23rd. I'm just going to do a quick little video to walk you through some of the details of this lesson. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so um, my students will automatically, when they come in at 7.30, they already know to get their laptops and to log on and to start Duolingo or their ESL online games. So that's basically been the routine. They come in, they know that they're going to do this for about 15 minutes. I would definitely advise you to circulate a bit to remind them to get going. Sometimes they like to talk a little bit. So again, uh, they should be on Duolingo. I would, you know, have it go till about 7.50 or so. Then I would have them go to Pear Deck. So Pear Deck is the link that I sent you. And let me just show you what it looks like. I don't know if you're familiar with Pear Deck, but that's my go-to app. And this is what you'll see. So it is basically my Google Slides, except that it's interactive for them. So you will project the code or you can give them the code. You can write it on their whiteboard. So here's the code and it'll tell you how many students are logged on. And so they already know this routine. And so they basically get all my Google Slides. So from there, after they do Duolingo and now they've logged on to uh, Pear Deck, you're going to walk them through the agenda. I like to kind of just go over all the different things that we're going to do. So there's no surprises. Um, and then I just get started with the lesson. So the first thing they're going to do is going to read about or they're going to watch a video about ocean cleanup. This is an opportunity for them to practice a lot of vocabulary, some comprehension. And so you're going to show them a video. Now here it says there's a video and you have to kind of go back to my Google Slides because the video won't show through Pear Deck. So go back to my Google Slides and find that slide that's on slide four and you can go ahead and you know put on the slideshow click it and you'll see the video now tell the students also that the link is down below so they can watch it again maybe mute it and they can read it in cap uh, closed captions in their own language so that also can help all right so i'm just going to keep going through the slides here all right so then uh, after they watch the video i want them to practice speaking they could speak in their own language going to practice what's the main ideas with their partners then they're going to summarize those main ideas so they're going to be typing in their answers right here on Pear Deck there is a little box that they can fill in and then I would highly suggest that you take a moment to call on students or to ask for volunteers to share what they thought about the video um, what were some interesting images what some vocabulary uh, maybe ask them what's a possible solution what do they think about using you know bottles and, and plastic and so just really take your time to draw out a conversation with the students. Remind them that if they need translation on any of these slides on their side, they will see immersive reader icon down here and they can always change the language to their own native language. Uh, all right, so after that, you know, they could take a little brain break. This is just a little game. I sometimes like to play games with them. And here just, you know, you could do it as a race if you want. And their job is to find the maze, right? To get through the maze so they can draw it in. So it was just a little fun little activity. Here's another little fun activity. We've been working on creating a, a futuristic city. And so they, that's something that they'll be doing later on. So here's a little activity for them to add some details so they can draw little details. And again, you're just practicing some vocabulary. You could draw clouds, the sun, rain, a, you know, Godzilla, <laughs> they could draw, right? King Kong, cars, flying cars. So you can just have them, you know, think of all the different things they can add to this picture. And we're just working on some vocabulary. Okay, after that, we're going to head right into voc uh, grammar. So I have a lot of students who are very, you know, beginner, non-English speakers, level one, level two. I have some that are a little bit more advanced. So what they're going to do here, and you're just going to walk them through, you know, the difference between simple present tense, uh, what we, how it changes from cook to cooks. And for this one, yes, you know, they complain a little bit, but they're going to write them out. So on the text box on the side, I want them to write it and to say it to their partner, right? I cook on Monday. I can. Because a lot of students still uh, do not know how to pronounce some of these words. So we, we've been talking a lot about the short vowel and the long vowel. So you could definitely talk about uh, how this one, you know, how they would say the word. And then, you know, they could even change some of these words up. So if they don't want to keep writing, you're saying wash or washes, they could do something else. But we're just practicing how to do simple present tense. Okay, so they're going to write those out very simple. And then right around nine. So again, that's why I say take your time uh, with the video and the discussion, but you're going to extend it all the way to about nine, 10. 
if uh, you need more things to do, they can always go back to Duolingo or back to the ESL games and give them some time to do that or a chance to catch up on any missing work. There, I tell them that grades do close each week at the end of the Friday. Um, but once it gets to around 9.05, they should start packing up. They're going to take their laptops and they're going to walk across the campus to the wigwam. And Ms. Masters, who's right next door, will also knock on the door to remind you. And you're going to head on over. So sometimes we go a little bit earlier. That's okay. The students are going to work in the wigwam with two other classes. They already know the routine. They know the groups they're working with. And Ms. Masters will lead the discussion in the groups. So students are working on design-based learning. They've been creating cities. So you can ask them a lot of questions about that. Um, and I'm going to be sending this to the other teachers. So all of these slides here, they uh, the other teacher is going to go over. So the main thing that the students are going to be doing today on Friday is they're going to start practicing and recording their presentations. So students are going to be presenting to other students next week for their final. So today their job is to practice and record their city presentation. They're basically giving a city tour. And so they're going to move some tables about so they're not standing next to anybody too close and they're going to just get the laptop and start recording. For my students, especially the non-English speakers, they can say the presentation in their own language or they can use their computers to help them or if they wrote it out, they can do that too. So they all have their speeches already done. Okay, so this is the criteria of what they had to make just so that you know what this city was about. They'll be there for about an hour. Um, have the students leave the laptops there in the wigwam while they go to nutrition and then after nutrition, have them come back pick up the laptops and then have them uh, then walk with them back to the classroom. So I would just stay in that general area so we're, they're not doing so much walking around. Okay, once they come back, uh, we do some reading. And so students are gonna go to Google Classroom, they know where that's at, and they're going to start reading part one of the Telltale Heart. So again, um, they're reading it in their own language, so first getting the basic comprehension. And then you can once again, lead them some quick discussion, right? Ask them some questions. You can ask basic questions in English, you know, who's the main character, what's happening here, who's telling the story, things like that. Just very general, right, uh, questions about the first part of the story. After they're done discussing, they can work with partners to fill this in. And again, you might want to help them. We're working on transition words. What, what happened first? What happened next, right? And what do you think is going to happen at the end? They, they should not have gone to the end of the story but they got to the end of that part. All right, so then once they do that, they're gonna do a little activity that we've been doing, and these are called zines, short for magazines, and I left you some blank paper there, and they're basically going to be making a little mini book. So again, there is a video that you could show them, uh, but they already know how to do it. You can ask students to help each other out, and they're going to need some scissors, so there are some scissors there on the shelf, um, or they can use their hands. They can cut the paper with just their fingers. Just their hands is fine too. So they're going to make these little mini books. And in the mini book, they're going to basically tell the story. What happened in that first part? They're going to write a cover, do a cover page. And then they're going to uh, do seven pages of just the plot. What's happening? So that'll take them all the way up to a little bit of the writing time. Uh, definitely give them a break. I usually give them a 10 to 15 minute break. They can walk outside. As long as they stay in the little area and you just kind of keep an eye on them. They like to throw the football around. That's fine. Um, if they go to the restroom, only one at a time. And that's pretty much it. So then when they come back, the last part that they're doing is they're going to analyze a song. So they're going to look, watch uh, this music video. Uh, they're going to discuss it. Same thing like we did earlier. So you're going to show the video. The video is on the, again, on the My Google Slides. And just kind of have them like uh, talk about it right talk to a partners or talk to a whole class uh you know what does it all mean it's a very powerful video very uh, especially since the students have been making a city and we've been talking about governments and so forth once they do that depending on time you can either have a class discussion partner group and they could do this uh or they can you know if there is time they're filling all of these little sheets out so again you can have a little discussion but the last part is for them to do a flip video. And I think that's gonna be over here. Basically, they're gonna to go to Google Classroom um, and, sorry, they're going to be writing a summary. Sorry, sorry. So after they do this, they're going to talk about it, work with the group, and then here, you can walk them through how to fill this in. 
and there should be a text box on the side and they're just writing out you know what they thought was important in this video they're finding some lyrics some quotes from the song um, and that's pretty much it. We don't usually have time to get to reading progress. They should have already recorded their, their reading progress. They know how to do it, but I would just remind them, hey, did everyone finish doing their recording? And if not, you can allow some students to go outside or they're at their desk and record. Pretty much it. Again, if they finish early, if anyone is done, they could do some Duolingo. They can work on their reading progress or missing work. Yes, I do allow them to use their cell phones uh, if and only if they are done with everything else. So that's pretty much it. I, you have my phone number. Uh, you can always text me if there's any kind of issue. Um, but hopefully everything goes well. Uh, again, um, if uh, you have any student who has any kind of issue, you could always send them right next door to Miss Master's class. But usually I never have had any issue with my students. So hopefully you enjoy a day with my ELD class. Thank you.